Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a old iPhone 4S and it's running on the old iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 and I'm sure many of you are still having this device in your old collection. Like if you still hold this device, it will give you still good feeling. But today I will show you a way that can help you to downgrade this iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 to any lower iOS version whether you are on iOS 8, iOS 7, iOS 6 you can downgrade it very easily or we can say that we can dual boot the iOS 9 as well as the other iOS version as your wish like iOS 6, iOS 7, iOS 8 dual boot it with the latest iOS 9 for the old iPhone 4s so I will give you the taste of the old iOS version in 2021 so let's start this video now the first of all you will require the Thru Tools software. You need to jailbreak your device. If you are already jailbroken you can skip this part. We will jailbreak it with the Phoenix jailbreak that are compatible with the iPhone 4s, iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6. So you just need to go to the jailbreak section and connect your device and easily jailbreak it. Or you can use any third party online store to install the Phoenix app. If the certificate is still signed, you can easily do that without computer. Now you can open the Phoenix app. First it will ask you to trust the certificate. So you can go to the settings and journal and you can scroll it down and you will get the device management option and where you can easily trust the certificate. After that you can open the Phoenix app. Now just click on the prepare for jailbreak. Now after the reboot your jailbreak will be done. Now you can see the CDR on your home screen. If the CDR is not there and it's crashing that means the jailbreak is not done. So you can open the Phoenix app again and you can do exactly same process to complete the jailbreak. Now the CDR is working. Now the next step in order to proceed to the downgrade part or dual boot part you need to add a repo. So I will give links in the description of that repo or I will just display on the screen so you can easily copy that. So now just verify that and add it into your sources. Now after adding into sources you will see some warning so just ignore that or you can just update your CDI packages before and then you can add and if you still got this warning just ignore that. Now after that go to the repo again and install the first week that is the cool booter so simply install it. Now after installation go to the home screen and you will get the tweak that is the cool booter. Now just open it and you will get the install option. Now here you will get the destination iOS version that include the iOS 6 and all the version of iOS 6 and then iOS 7 and iOS 8 and iOS 9 and so on. So you can see the iOS 6 to the iOS 9.3.5 or 6 were supported. So you can downgrade it to any iOS version below that. So now you can select any iOS version so I am selecting the iOS 6. Now I will select the secondary data partition size so you can give the secondary space according to that but for showing you I am just selecting the 3 GB of space. You can select more according to your preference. So now just select that and after that click on I am ready. Now next it will ask you to show the custom boot logo so you can select the yes as well as no. If you select yes it will show the custom logo of the cool booster tweak. And same for the verbose booting you can select yes or no it will show the verbose boot at the time of booting. Now it will download the IPSW file for the iOS 6 or any other version you have selected. So it required the internet connection so make sure you connect it with the internet. So now the download is completed and it required the restart your device. So just click on that. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes to download the IPSW file or it depends on your internet connection. Now after the reboot if you go to that tweak again it will crash as your device is not currently jailbroken as we have restarted our device so jailbreak is gone. So now just open the Phoenix app again and just re jailbreak your device like we did in the last time. So you need to follow the same process as we need required a jailbreak to downgrade and dual boot the process. So just simply jailbreak your device. Now after the jailbreak your tweak will work again. Now you will get the boot option so you can select that. Now it will ask you to lock your device in order to complete the process. Now after 5 to 10 seconds you will see the cool booter logo and the process has been started. Now wait for it to get complete. 
you will see the purpose boot as we have selected the purpose boot option yes on that time now after that we have installed the IPSW file and the booting system also now we need to last re jailbreak your device as it's still in the un jailbreak state after the reboot now open the phoenix app and re jailbreak your device last time now we have completed all the process now lastly go to the tweak again and just click on boot and this time you will see you need to relock your device in order to complete the process now this time it will load the ios 6 that you have installed and selected and you can see the logo is changed now it will load your ios 6 that is the secondary ios version you are dual booted with the ios 9 now see on the screen guys we are getting the old apple logo that is available in the old ios version and just see the old ios 6 hello screen setup so let me just set up this iconic screen for you guys and after that we will see the ios 6 in the 2021 so it's good to see that we are still running on the old ios version and it's just a simple trick you can dual boot your device with the ios 9 or any other lower version So alright guys we are into our device and it's on the old iOS 6. It's very amazing to see the old iOS version in 2021 in your older iPhone 4s. So now as you can see on the screen the iOS version and the lock screen style and the UI interface. It's very iconic and good to see this iOS version currently as if you are an Apple level you know the old iOS version at style it's very iconic and a cool way. Now you can show off to your friends that you are running the old iOS version in the older iPhone. Now you can see the camera style and everything is so old but it's still so good. And the best part you are still in the jailbreak state. So CDS already installed in this iOS 6 so you can use any tweak and install it. So now let me tell you the important points of this method. Now it's a dual boot and the downgrade method and it required the jailbreak of your device. So if you reboot the device it will come on the iOS 9 but that's not an issue you just go to the Phoenix app again and re jailbreak your device. After that just go to that tweak cool booter again and simply click on boot and it will boot your device again to the lower iOS version you have downloaded and you don't have to set up again and again you just click on the boot option and it will directly go to the iOS 6 or older iOS version you can set the custom logo and the verbose boot option from the booting option so that's all for this video i hope you gain some knowledge and cool tricks through my video so just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel so till then goodbye take care and peace out